we are we are going to discuss atoms division so in that the first one is rutherford alpha scattering experiment in rutherford alpha scattering experiment the first one is distance of closest approach r not is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon not z e square by k e alpha or r not is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not Z e square by half m alpha v alpha whole square. And second one is impact parameter. Impact parameter B is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Z e square by ke cot theta by 2. Or B is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Z e square by half m v square cot theta by 2. Okay. The next important one is the number of alpha particles scattered at an angle theta is given by capital N is equal to Q N T Z square e power 4 by 8 pi epsilon naught whole square small r square capital E square sin power 4 theta by 2 where Q is equal to total number of alpha particles striking the foil n is equal to number of atoms per unit volume r is equal to distance of screen from the foil and t is equal to thickness of foil z is equal to atomic number of foil atoms theta is equal to angle of scattering and e is equal to kinetic energy of alpha particles from that equation we can write n is proportional to t n is proportional to z square n is proportional to 1 by sin power 4 theta by 2, n is proportional to 1 by e square, n is proportional to 1 by v power 4. Here, n is proportional to 1 by sin power 4 theta by 2 is important for solving problems. And then next most important concept that we are going to discuss is Bohr model of hydrogen-like atoms. In this, the first formula is radius of nth Bohr orbit given by Rn is equal to h square by 4 pi square km e square of n square by z where k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught or substituting the values of h square by 4 pi square km e square finally we get an equation Rn is equal to 0 0.53 n square by z angstroms it is in angstrom suppose if you want in meters one angstrom value should be written as 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. And next one, velocity of electron in nth Bohr orbit is given by Vn is equal to 2 pi k e square by h into z by n. Or Vn is equal to c by 137 of z by n meters per second. And angular velocity of electron in nth Bohr orbit, omega n is equal to Vn by Rn. That is equal to 8 pi cube k square e power 4 m by h cube of z square by n cube or I can also write omega n is equal to omega naught of z square by n cube where omega naught value is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power of 16 radian per second. For time period of electron in nth bore orbit is Tn is equal to 2 pi by omega n that is equal to h cube by 4 pi square k square m e power 4 of n cube by z square or we can also write Tn is equal to T naught of n cube by z square, where T naught is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of 16 sec minus 16 seconds. And fifth one, frequency of electron in nth Bohr orbit is Fn is equal to reciprocal of time period that is equal to 4 pi square k square m e power 4 by h cube of z square by n cube. Or Fn is equal to F naught z square by n cube where f naught is equal to 6.6 .6 in 10 to the power of 15 hedges. And sixth one, magnetic moment of electron revolving in nth Bohr orbit is mn is equal to e h by 4 pi m of n ampere meter square. If we write n is equal to 1, then e h by 4 pi m is called as the Bohr magneton. And next, electric current produced due to revolution of electron in nth Bohr orbit is given by I n is equal to m e power 5 by 4 epsilon naught square h cube into z square by n cube. 
or in is equal to 1.056 into 10 to the power of minus 3 of z square by n cube amperes. As it is revolving, it carries current, then it produces magnetic induction at the center of the orbit, which is given by Bn is equal to mu naught i n by 2 r n. Substituting the values of i n and r n, we can write Bn is equal to mu naught by 8 of pi m square e power 7 epsilon naught cube h power 5 jet cube by n power 5. Our Bn is equal to 12.5 of z cube by n power 5. Bn is proportional to z cube by n power 5. And the potential energy of electron in the Bohr orbit is u is equal to minus of m e power 4 by 4 epsilon naught square h square of z square by n square joules. Substituting the all constant values, we get u is equal to minus 27.2 of z square by n square electron volt. And the kinetic energy of electron in the Bohr orbit is me power 4 of by 8 epsilon square h square into z square by n square in joules. Substituting again all the values in electron volt, the kinetic energy is given by 13.6 of z square by n square electron volt or Ke is equal to minus u by 2. And finally, total energy of electron in the Bohr orbit is sum of the potential energy plus kinetic energy r minus m e power 4 by 8 epsilon naught square h square of z square by n square e is equal to minus 13.6 z square by n square or e is equal to u by 2. When electron jumps from one energy level to another energy level then radiation will be emitted and having a frequency of 13.6 into z square by h of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square or f is equal to 3.3 into 10 to the power of 15 z square of 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square and wave number mu bar is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to r z square into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. This formula is also used while finding the recoil velocity of the atom that means lambda is equal to h by p. So, P is equal to H by lambda. So, 1 by lambda can be represented as Rz square into 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square. So, we can write Rhz square of 1 by N1 square minus 1 by N2 square is the momentum. From that, we can calculate velocity of recoil, recoil velocity of the atom. And whenever electron transition takes place from higher orbit to the ground state, then number of Spectral lines emitted in this case is given by n of n minus 1 by 2. These are the important formula regarding to Bohr's atomic model. And then finally, we have emission spectrum of hydrogen atom. In this, the first one is Lyman series. Lyman series of spectral lines is obtained when electron transition takes place from higher energy orbit having principal quantum number 2, 3, 4 and so on up to infinity to the ground state n1 is equal to 1. And the maximum wavelength of the spectral line is given by 4 by 3 r that is equal to 12 to 12 angstrom. And the minimum wavelength is equal to 1 by r that is equal to n912 angstrom. So here the wavelength becomes maximum when transition takes place from n2 is equal to 2 to n1 is equal to 1. And the wavelength becomes minimum when transition takes place from n2 is equal to infinity to n1 is equal to 1 and is also called as frequency limit of Lyman series. Lambda minimum is also known as the limit of uh, wavelength limit of Lyman series. It is obtained in both the absorption and emission spectrum, it lies in UV region. And second one, we have Balmer series. We can obtain Balmer series when N1 is equal to 2 and N2 is equal to 3, 4, 5 up to infinity. Lambda maximum is equal to 36 by 5 R, that is equal to 6566 6, 6 angstroms. And lambda minimum is equal to 4 by R, that is equal to 3648 angstrom. It is obtained only in emission spectrum it lies in visible region of electromagnetic spectrum. And third one, passion series. This series are, is obtained when n1 is equal to 3 and n2 is equal to 4, 5, 6 up to infinity. 
and here the maximum wavelength of spectral line can be obtained due to transition of electron from fourth orbit to third orbit which is given by 144 by 7 r and its value is equal to 18761 angstroms and lambda minimum is equal to 9 by r that is equal to 8208 angstrom so fashion series is obtained only in emission spectrum it lies in near infrared region fourth one we have is bracket series this series is obtained when n1 is equal to 4 and n2 is equal to 5 6 7 up to infinity and the maximum wavelength of the emitted spectral line is given by 400 by 9 r which is equal to 45 3, 3 angstrom lambda minimum is equal to 16 by r which is equal to 14592 angstroms it is also obtained only in emission spectrum it lies in middle ir region final we have fun series in fun series we can obtain spectral lines when transition of electron takes place from n2 is equal to 6, 7, 8 up to infinity to n1 is equal to 5. And the first series of one series or maximum wavelength is given by 900 by 11 r, which is equal to 74, 610 angstroms. Our lambda minimum is equal to 25 by r, which is equal to 22, 800 angstrom. It is obtained in one limb spectrum. It lies in far infrared region. 